simple arrangement. And this is a very simple little thing to do. If you've never taken a clay pot and tried to alter the finish on it, this is just white latex paint. And then take a dry rag and just a little bit of paint to start with. And you just keep wiping it around to create your own whitewash finish. And if, if you keep the paint very thin on there, it is a poppy plant. It comes in three colors, I believe. Orange and yes, red, yellow, and orange. And we are just going to take it, this was uh, already, a, we had some foam in there already, so we're going to add our poppy plant in here. And push it way down into the pot so that there's nothing worse than putting a plant in a pot where you can see that stem, because that's not how a plant grows. It should go all the way down to the crown of the plant so that it's in your pot. We're going to take little burning glory again. And I know these tags are very decorative and some of you like black and white, but you really should remove them. And we're going to do a very natural look again in this. What's the name of this brand? I just love this brand. I love the new growth on it. How green, it's that lime green again. And this is the list that you do need the bulk colors for, believe me. I forgot the name of this. It's a button lamp, that's what it is. And we're going to cut this into three major sections. It's already divided that way naturally on the stem. get rid of that part. And we're going to stick these in in a triangular effect around this pot. first arrangement that I showed you that was with the closure, we're going to sort of create our own faux looking cage effect using these branches. And because they're wires, you can actually you take one of them and wind it around to mechanically hold it together. Create our own little natural garden effect here. And these lines in design we call it framing lines, which gives importance to the poppy and to our morning glory inside. And the simplest thing to do in arrangements is when you build them and you just make this, this beautiful little pot, create a static or a dynamic movement to it. A dynamic movement can be done very quickly with line. Curly line, an unusual pattern of line in the arrangement as that dynamic element. So in this case, we just added that. We're going to finish this off with a little bit of ivy at the bottom. And this is another new ivy for us. And I love the color of this ivy, too. It's that great variegation goes to a almost a banana cream yellow color to the deeper green values. I still use a little piece in there. Almost done with this one. I'm going to turn the other one out. The next one. on the other side, it gives us another garden look. 
a very minimal amount of product. The ID in there makes it very summary. Copies, the morning glories, it can be done with geraniums, it can be done even in the springtime with our tulips and our daffodils. This can even be done in the fall with the button branches and using fall mums or some of the asters or some of the other fall sunflowers. And another simple little garden, but this creates the statement here. It's not the poppy, it's not the morning glory over here. It's not really the ivy, it's the actual use of just a few, one branch of the button leaf coming up over and creating an interest. Tie a little ribbon in there, maybe a few little butterflies. We have